So I think we are growing like every day. And, you know, I'm definitely proud to call you my wife. You know, obviously we're married and the goal is to be not fall in love, but as Pastor Cal put it, grow into love. And of course that's the goal. We've never full on had the love conversation. I know it's kind of yeah. elephant in the room. So I think it would make me feel a lot better if we could talk about it. But I'd love to know how you feel because I don't want to just withhold it because I'm like, oh, he knows how I feel. And you're sitting there like, does she even like me? I think whoever feels that they love the other person should say it first. I would love for that person to be Chris. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things like I definitely don't want to feel pressure into saying it either. And it's not even, like, fear of, like, you not saying it back. It's one of those things that, like, I think you say it when you're ready. You just want to make sure that it's, like, real when you do say it. And that's kind of where I'm at. And, like, there's going to be days where we don't like each other, but we still, at the end of the day, are like, I love you. So I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'm just saying there will be days in the future. Know. But that's when I feel like it'll be comfortable to say I love you. Like, I don't really like you today, but I still love you. I think Nicole wants me to say I love you first, but one of my past relationships, um, I definitely said it before I was ready to say it. Um, and it was one of those things, like once you kind of say it, you can't take it back. So you definitely want to make sure you say it when you actually mean it and when, when it feels right. I mean, I definitely don't put a timetable on it. Like if it's a month, if it's two months, if it's three months, like, you know, and right now it's not like time to say it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, yeah.